based on their performance on the Ukrainian battlefield. Which Russian air defense system do you think is the most formidable? In its exclusive report, Sputnik International reveals the secrets behind the strength of Russia's air defense, a layered system that has long kept the country's skies tightly secured. From ballistic missiles to combat drones, and even the most advanced Western stealth jets, nothing escapes the sharp eyes and destructive power of this defense network. Now, it's time to take a closer look at Russia's silent guardians of the skies and choose which one deserves to be called your favorite. When discussing threats to fifth-generation fighter jets, such as the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, Russia's S-500 air defense system deserves serious consideration as one of the most significant potential threats. The S-500 represents a major leap in Russian air defense technology, a cutting-edge system designed to tackle the complex challenges of modern aerial warfare. The main advantage of the S-500 lies in its flexibility and capability to engage a wide range of targets. Not only can it detect and shoot down stealth fighter jets, but it is also claimed to be capable of intercepting hypersonic missiles and satellites in low Earth orbit. One of the standout features of the S-500's radar and targeting system is its detection range, which extends up to 600 kilometers. Additionally, the radar can operate in multiple modes simultaneously from tracking targets to engaging in active combat, allowing for a rapid and effective response to threats coming from multiple directions at once. This combination makes the S-500 a highly formidable system, even against stealth technology. Russia has begun deploying the first units of the S-500 system to strategic locations, including Crimea, to protect the Kerch Strait. This deployment is far from arbitrary. The Kerch Bridge, which spans the strait, is a vital logistics route for Russia, especially in support of its military operations in southern Ukraine. The presence of the S-500 in this area underscores the system's crucial role as a frontline defense for strategic infrastructure, while also strengthening Russia's dominance in both air and ground operations. What makes the S-400 Triumph so special? This Russian-made long-range surface-to-air missile system has once again drawn public attention after reportedly being involved in the downing of an F-16 fighter jet, according to a report from Defense Security Asia. The S-400 is also well known for its capability to launch four different types of interceptor missiles, enabling a layered defense system. Behind its offensive strength lies the phased array Nebo-M radar, which serves as the brain of the entire operation. This radar can track up to 300 targets simultaneously and coordinate attacks on 36 threats at once, including low-flying cruise missiles and stealthy fifth-generation fighter jets. The S-400 is strategically deployed throughout Russian territory as well as in occupied zones deemed critical. These placements are intended to restrict and limit NATO's aerial operations, particularly around Russia's vital assets. In other words, the S-400 is not just a defense system, but also a highly calculated geopolitical tool. There is only one mission to confront fourth-generation fighter jets. In this intense battlefield, one defense system stands as a fortress, the Russian S-300. This surface-to-air missile system is no ordinary military device. It is a fusion of advanced technology and deadly firepower. Equipped with an intelligent inertial guidance system, its missiles can receive real-time target updates via radio links, then lock onto targets using semi-active radar homing. No threat escapes its watchful eye, but its power doesn't stop there. The S-300 is not only capable of downing aircraft and UAVs, but also defends against cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. It is a system that doesn't just defend, it hunts. The Pantsir S-1 is one of Russia's flagship air defense systems. 
known for its high firepower and exceptional ability to counter a wide range of airborne threats. Designed to provide effective point defense, this system is expected to protect critical installations such as military facilities, administrative buildings, industrial areas, and other vital infrastructure from attacks by fighter jets, helicopters, cruise missiles, and precision-guided weapons. Its role has become increasingly evident in various significant events, from successfully intercepting UAVs in Lipetsk to its involvement in battles in the Kursk and Zaporizhia regions, where the system had to confront and destroy various enemy targets with speed and high accuracy. Recent information from the battlefield indicates that Russia's Buck Air Defense System continues to demonstrate its effectiveness in countering aerial threats, particularly in intercepting joint direct attack munitions, GPS-guided munitions widely used by Ukrainian forces. The Buk system is now considered one of the key components of Russia's defense strategy, especially along the Zaporizhia front line. In this area, the Buk is deployed in a tightly knit network, forming a robust and organized air defense shield. This deployment aims to disrupt and hinder Ukraine's ability to use their precision munitions effectively, a tactic that has become a cornerstone of modern warfare. Designed to counter various aerial threats, from fighter jets to cruise missiles and smart bombs, the Buk system serves as the spearhead of Russia's air defense in this tense region. And here it is, the air defense system from Sputnik's last list, the TOR. Missiles like the Storm Shadow would definitely think twice before approaching a Russian air defense system like TOR, especially when we're talking about fighter jets, helicopters, drones, and even ballistic missiles. All of them would face significant risks if they dared to breach the range of this system. Although such targets are known to be difficult to handle, the TOR M2 has proven capable of confronting low-flying threats with precision and high effectiveness. This system is not just a barrier, but truly an air guardian that can make the enemy think twice before advancing further. So what's your top pick? That's all from us. Catch you in the next episode.